Hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Creaky Chair. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Final Fantasy XI. Uh, so, in the last time, we beat Shantato's Nazi clones in the Full Moon Fountain. And so now we've got Ron Romancing the Clone. To your dismay, but not complete surprise, original Shantato has chosen the side with her heinous alter ego. Best you return at once to Shinshoto headquarters to plan your next move. So, back to Aldo we go. It's possible we might finish a Chateau, Shantato Ascension in this video, but it's also extremely possible that we don't. And we just have to give it a try. perfect world order that exists solely for our pleasure? Does that witch's derangement know no bounds? <laughs> well, that was more of a hiccup than a puff wheeze, but whatever. Uh, the, the doctor's location, Ethie, I have it. Kazam music. As a last resort, I employed the services of Winter's infamous cat burglar Ethi and Amigo to locate Dr. Shantato. And true Ethi to her reputation, she successfully tracked down the doctor's current hideout Ethi, the sacrificial chamber within the temple of Ugalapi. The only hitch Ethi is in acquiring this piece of information further lightened my coin purse Ethi. Ancient artifacts known as Tablets of Hexes are required for entry. They can supposedly be found Ethi scattered throughout the temple and deeper within. Ah yes, the cat burglar has never been one to lose scent of her prey. So the next leg of our journey takes us to El Shimo Island. By means fair or foul, we must put an end to Shantato's nefarious plot. Benadiel must not be allowed to fall into such tyrannical hands. But first, there are matters I must attend to in Juno. I must ensure that the Tinchetto isn't left leaderless should, should the worst come to pass. One can't expect to lock horns with a fearsome adversary like the Doctor and come out unscathed. Very well, Ethie. Let us rendezvous at the Sacrificial Chamber. Okay, so now we gotta go to the Sacrificial Chamber, which, because we did Rise of the Zillard already, and there's Home Point Warps, I believe we can just Home Point Warp there like a boss and not give a damn. But I guess we'll find out. And more or less, this is going to be kind of similar to the Sap quest line, more or less. We'll be running through Temple of Oglopi and Den of Rancor to find Hex Tablets, and the more we find, the better off we'll be in the fight coming up. Rather than protecting us from, like, Astral Flow elements, though, it's it, they give us, like, ridiculous stat bonuses, like plus 150 to all elemental resistances, plus 150 to all stats and attributes. So, it's going to be, uh... Gay old time. I think we want Den of Rancor 1.1. Yeah, yeah, that's the one we want. It's kind of funny. I started a new job today, or I was supposed to, and I went in early and I signed it on paper because I didn't have me a. Uh, computer uh, login yet and then they tell me I'm, I'm pouring over you know I'm starting to review and, and retrain and, and like read over these management packets they've got for me and I get told oh yeah you're not actually in the system yet so you can't work and I was like wait well, I can't like even train I can't even just look stuff over and get ready and whatnot and they're like nope go home and I was like, what, what? Wait, hold on. The old wooden door is locked tight. Uh, okay. Alright, so we don't have to check it for a cutscene at all? 
I thought we had to, like, go there and check it for a cutscene and then go get the tablets. But whatever, I guess we'll get the tablets first. Which means we're gonna have to, like, warp out of here ri right quick and then, like, <sighs> go back in from, like, a book warp would probably be the best way. Although I guess we could also use Unity Warp. Eh, whatever. I'm just I'm just gonna use the book. Now I think the difference though between these uh, hex tablets and the um, the other stuff is uh, these have set locations. And they're always there, as opposed to those saps, which had several different locations and weren't always there. So... Of course, we have to navigate the temple here. And so, it could be kind of weird getting them all. But I think we definitely want to get them all, because this is going to be the final fight of a Shantato Ascension. And it's probably not going to be a picnic. Uh, we might lose, and I might have to reacquire all these just to attempt it again. Because, like, the main issue is, like, these are going to buff our stats like crazy, and the fight is actually balanced around that, as far as I'm aware. At least at 75. But I don't think our trusts are going to get buffed. So... Ooh. Oh dear, I'm yawning. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Now oh, there it is. Tablet of Hexes Malice. Third in a con concatenation of ancient stone tablets passed down over millennia by the Tomberry race, found within the Temple of Ugalipi. Engraved in indecipherable runes, a single tablet is said to hold the anguish of a thousand tortured souls. So we're probably actually finding, what, like, Kulu tablets or something? Okay. Um. These are listed weirdly because the one we just picked up is like the first one listed and they're not even they didn't even list them alphabetically or anything they just listed them and the next one we're gonna go grab is supposedly at F8 so that's like all the way back around they didn't even list the one that's closest to the entrance first I hate wiki guides sometimes you always find out stuff like that I always find it out a little too late. And it's just like, oh, you guys did this out of order, or like, put these in out of order. Tablet of Hexes Deceit. Okay, fourth. Yeah. According to the game, these are the third and fourth. I wonder what the first and second are. Okay. All right, so that's all the ones that are on map one. The rest of the ones that are in Temple of Uglipi are actually on the second map of Temple of Uglipi. 
And then the rest of these are going to be in Den of Rancor. And honestly, I think the ones in Den of Rancor are going to be easier to find. Because Den of Rancor, except for its, um, you know... Torch lantern gates or whatever it's pretty straightforward it's just a cave right so like you just need sneak and invisible and run around and we might have to fight some stuff when we drop invisible but like we'll have trusts out so it won't be a problem it'll just be annoying Alright, there's going to be one at F8, one at G10, one at J11, and one at I8. Let's see, we're at H right now. Man, I hope I don't have to get, like, any of the crazy keys or anything to get places. I don't need to summon all these, but I'm, I'm summoning them all anyway. We gotta kill the Temple Guardian and get through that door. Said what? There was one at at J11. Yeah, there it is. Tablet of hexes, pride. Fifth. We lost our uh, Swiss shoes, right? So, to rest for a second, get our Swiss shoes back, maybe. Might help us save a little bit of time, extra few seconds. After pushing it up against the two hour hard limit, I uh, want to try to. Hexes of Bale. Okay, or Bale. Just, okay. Da, 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 da. Sixth. So we've got the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth so far. There's a total of 16 of these things, if I'm reading this right. There should be two more to get. The ones at F8, ones at G10. So they're on the western side of the map now. Well, unless, wait, 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 unless that was... G 
greed. Oh, look at all those Tom Berry. Oh, there's like a Tom Berry kitchen. Aw, oh, it's adorable. I wonder what they eat. Patissier? Eh? <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. I can't cut nothing. Oh, they're pretty, uh... One of them can speak and the others don't. The first! Wow. Man. No wonder the wiki's a mess. The, uh, the game can't even get get it right which ones would be closest to the first entrance to this place. So we've got the first six. And so... Yep, the rest are in Den of Rancor. So now we need to go on back... Um, I guess the quickest way would just be home point warning... Home point warping to sacrificial chamber or whatever, and then just running through the zone. Um... And going directly to the spots because since these like it's actually really a godsend gathering these up won't be that bad because theoretically because they uh, they're all just at places that we'll all like they're at set locations there there are no duplicate locations so. oh god excuse me I'm gonna go ahead and turn off names. Alright. Gonna run call. Thank I think most of them are actually on the map of Den of Rancor. It's considered the first map, and it's the map that's actually like the upstairs portion of the den. So we'll have to like... You might want to run up there first, I'm not really sure what the best way to divvy this up is in the modern age, but either way, I think we'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. people here. Why are there people here? Uh, maybe they're related to doing something for Ambuscade. Sometimes people come, like, sometimes the Ambuscade monthly thing is like, kill birds, and bats count as birds, and so like people come here because these are like level 68 bats or something. But, uh, yeah, this is, I, I think the second map was considered map number two. And there's a couple on the second map. One's at L13, one's at H9. I guess we could grab those since we're already down here. It's like, you know, why not? We're going to have to like run and grab it eventually anyway. Tablet of Hexes, Blight. 
Are you serious, Tom Barry, motherfucker? You saw me from across the way and were like, Yeah, you know what? I wanna, I wanna fuck with that guy who's, who's being followed by five fully armored... ...others. Tom Berries are stupid. <sighs> I like getting stone. Although, speaking of stones, probably almost out of virtue stones for that stack. Let's grab my pouch to make sure I always have some. And then it's back to sneaking through here to get the rest of these hex tablets. Let's see, L13 is like all the way... Yeah, like it's all the way down there uh, where the... Uh... Where the other thing is at. The, uh... I think it's the red torch that you, you light for red lights on a lantern. Now this guide, it doesn't say anything about needing lanterns for the tablets themselves. The other wiki was like going all through like saying like, oh yeah, you need to get uh, four, tor four lanterns and open the four gates and blah 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 blah. It's like... Well, no, you don't need four lanterns. You just you just need one lantern and you know to light it. You know, light the four torches with the normal flame, not the red flame, the normal flame. Well, there would be bombs right here. Hex tablet of hexes death. I think that actually gives us a uh, re-raise effect, like. I think the first six tablets that we found in Temple of Ugalipi, I think those are the six standard elements uh, resistances, and I think two of the tablets in here are light and darkness resistance, and then one of the tablets is re-raise, which I think is the one we just got, and then uh, and it's also re-raise where you, you have no weakness after you re-raise, by the way. It's really nice. And then one of the other ones is... Uh, or the, the last seven are attributes, and they increase they increase your attributes, I believe, by uh, 150. Of course, then there's ones that, that are supposed to triple, triple your HP and MP, so maybe some of them got lumped together. Not really sure. 15th. 16th. Okay, so these were right in the listing. Huh. I guess they ordered these on the wiki by map and then by number in the listing of key items. That's what it appears to be. Okay, so this is the map. This is the map where most of them are at, I believe. So, let's see, E5 is where our first one is at, supposedly. <laughs> Except, ba bada bing bada boom, that's totally one of them. Tablet of Hexes, Strife. Really? The one I thought saw me didn't see me, and... Dude, I hate aggro in this game sometimes. Like, it's not even just the fact that, like, I got aggro and I gotta deal with it now. It's the fact that, like... One of these Tom Berries saw me from 8 billion feet away, and the other one, like, should have seen me but didn't. But then linked with, with the one that did see me. How annoying. Hello, Thundega 2. Uh, I think 
you already have the Vega 2. Yep. I'll see if I can sell it later, I guess. I'm not going to bother with quickening, I'm just going to put my Crimson Creases back on, because if we have to get aggroed every single time we take one of these, pick one of these things up, then we're just going to keep loosening the quickening effect, so. I don't know, it might still be worth it, but I'm kind of annoyed at this point, so. These caves are a little bit confusing. Tablet of Hexes, Regret. Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret. I don't remember Johnson's speech about regret. I do know that the core didn't blow up my raggedy ass fleet yet, though. Okay, so we got strife and regret, so we just need J9 and E10. So I'll just run straight south and try not to fall down any holes. I don't really remember getting all of these back in the day. I, I mean, I probably did. I just remember grabbing a few in like uh, Temple of Oogalipi and then just doing the fight with my friends. I'm pretty sure we grabbed them all, though. We probably ran through here and grabbed them all. I just... I don't have any memory of it. Like, I remember watching the cutscenes for the first time that come after this fight. They were freaking hilarious. But... Beyond that... No, no memory. Head empty, no memory. Water Spirit Pack. I don't know if I have that one. But I don't know if I actually care if I have that one. No, I have that one. Okay. It's probably super cheap, too, so I probably don't care about it. Okay, kill all the Tom Berries first, because we're racist against Kulus. What was that, Blade Combo? Did he just do Blade Combo? I think he just did Blade Combo. Matt Tweet P's got it all. So I already picked it up. Which one? Agony? Is that track with what that one is? Yep. Okay. So then, we just keep moving right along here. Okay, so that was the one that was at E10. So there's F11 and K11. Hmm. 
You would think I would remember doing this, and I would remember, like, oh, you know, it was back in the day, so, like, uh, you know, people kept dying the everyone's grudge, because no one wanted to reset hate or something, but, like, now, just, like, head empty, no memory, like, like, I think maybe people might have, back in the day, looked at which ones increased specific stats and which one gave re-raise and got all the easy to grab ones really quick like and then just didn't bother grabbing any of the, any of the others so that sounds like that sounds like the way we used to play this game this is uh, you know efficiency first and like you're gonna be in a full party anyway so why do you care etc etc you've got in-game gear why do you care so that was rancor okay and so now, yeah, we want to go over some. Realized we were forced to loop back around. Yeah, this cave is probably kind of maddening without a map. is probably the next closest one. Not really sure. But I would assume so, since it's out in this big room. And there it is, right there. Hexes of Dollar. Okay. Yeah, did I actually I actually pick one up without getting aggro? It's a miracle. Okay. So yeah, we got that, 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 and that. Um, I don't think we got K11 yet. When it's over. That's the time I fall in love again. When it's over. <laughs> to say, 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 say. And I know it never ends. It never ends. For some reason, Sugar Ray is popping into my head. I don't think he's been popular in like 20 years. Let's see. Uh, J13 will be the last one on this map. And then there's one more to grab at F9 on map number three. And then I believe we will have got them all. We'll be a Pokemon master. Ooh, Bastok is dominant. Mm, this region is under Bastok in control. Mm. Gotta love it. I know I do. I see only despair, despair, despair. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You're just missing 14. Which I think all we gotta do to, to get 14 is fall down a hole. Like... Maybe not any hole, but like, one of the holes that leads to... Cloister of, um... Leviathan or whatever, of, of, of Tides, Cloister of Tides, I believe it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's like up in the northeast section, I believe. That's where we gotta fall down at. I might be remiss, but I don't think that I am. And if I fall down the wrong hole, I'm just gonna use my warp ring and then use home point warp to go there. So we don't lose any of the hex tablets for zoning. 
They weren't that crazy. Thank God. Imagine if you had to do this contiguously, like if you had to, um... If you had to... Oh, I hope it's this map. If it's not this map, I'm gonna be a little bit... Which one is map three? Oh. That's a map with Hakutaku. Uh... I was wrong. Oh, no, no. We don't want to go back to that map. Then we want to go the other way. Wait, but we can't go the other way, because the other way is only... only leads to Leviathan. Ah, so annoying, so annoying. Here, let's get some swift shoes, since I've gotten lost here. I'll just need to open up the Den of Rancor... Man, oh man there's nine maps to the Den of Rancor? Holy shit. Okay, so let's see. That's considered map three. That's considered map five. Uh, that's considered map six. So where is a ah son of a bitch? Well, I guess that makes sense. Okay, whatever. Instead of going back up, I should have gone south. I was a foolish fool. And now I've lost your trust, and you'll never forgive me. Honestly, the Den of Rancor's first map is kind of how my poop looks these days. Just a fucking mess. That's what happens when you get IBS. Yes, it does occupy m much of my waking hours thoughts. Thank you for being so considerate, viewer. Although for real though, with, with with like stepping back into the workforce, like I, I kind of forgot how I used to have to like forcibly hold it and like really, really, really watch what I eat so that I'm not like in the bathroom all the time at work. And, like I wasn't in the bathroom at all today at work because I was only at work for like half an hour. Before they said you can't, you can't be here, and I was like, "Son of a bitch!" But uh, I definitely had actually a little bit of problems this morning when I first woke up. My body was like, "Dude, what the hell? You went to sleep at night, first of all. Second of all, you, you know, you haven't eaten any cereal with milk in over a day and a half." All right, million eyes. That's a good sign. Should be the right map. I believe this is the right map. But where is the thingy? That was the coordinate. F9. No, we don't want to log out. Why would I want to log out? Okay, so it doesn't really matter which way we go. I think, anyway. Right. Hold on. 
We want to go... No, no, no. South, south, south is what we want. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I mentioned before that they, when they did an update, they um, removed monsters that drop specific items. You need to spawn notorious monsters from the old days. And uh, the one I was referencing was the air tank, which is for rudder sabatons. And they actually added the that item back into the game on a different hobgoblin now so now you can get it get it again but it was funny i didn't realize they also did that to some other um some other ones they they uh they were stupid and they also did that to uh one of the hecta eye monsters that dropped i <laughs> I think it was the Burning Eye? Burning Hakutaku Eye? It might have been a different Hakutaku Eye. One of the Hakutaku Eyes. You need, like, Burning, Damp, uh, Sexy, and, like, three others to make the Hakutaku Eye Cluster with, I think, Alchemy? I think it's Alchemy. And then you take the Hakutaku Eye Cluster to Hakutaku and spawn the Hakutaku, kill Hakutaku, and you get the Optical Hat. And I showed that off. I showed off getting the optical hat earlier in the Let's Play when I did Zillart missions. And, um... I don't know why I'm running this way. I don't think I'll be able to get through the gate without using home point warps. But maybe some people are running through. We'll, we'll run up here and see. But, uh... Yeah, like... Yawn. Uh, it turned out that for a, as, as long as, for a couple months, a few months, for as long as you weren't able to get air tanks, uh, it was, it was the November update last year, from November until about, um, I think it was the first week of, of January, so it was two months, it was almost two months, you couldn't get air tanks to get, to get rudder sabatons, but you also couldn't get Haku, one of the Hakutaku eyes, and so you, you couldn't get optical hat. Uh, you couldn't even fight Hakutaku. So it was just kind of interesting. Okay, so we just need to repatriate, and then... I'll put what back in! Alright. I love when repatriation takes me to the best nation. Best stock is best stock. I might even say it's beast stock. Oh yeah. Okay, now that we're an hour in with zero combat, or actually I guess it's not zero, we had to fight some some Tom Berries. With, with, with like one cutscene and like three battles of nothing. We're gonna do a battle of something. I'll probably die. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love it, viewer. You're gonna love it. You're gonna see me in pain. <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. Get a cutscene first. Now that we have... The tablets. ZM16 music. The crystal's copious power feeds your curse without cease. Make no mistake, this bird is ripe for release. Our custom made curse in its fully charged state will unleash upon Vanadiel an irreversible fate. Every creature alive will be delighted to take the luscious form of yours truly, even if they are fake. And then a perfect world order shall, shall arise, one that exists solely for our pleasure, all the way to the skies. 
the holy Shantano Empire shall shine forevermore. If it's not to your taste, we'll gladly show you the door. You two Shantatos, hold it right there! Don't even think about releasing that curse into the world. Ah, the young upstart who knows not when... And enough is enough. Turn around and leave, or we'll be forced to play rough. Impertinence in men makes our hackles rise. You have earned yourself an unpleasant surprise. Calm of temperament, though I might appear. If pushed over the edge, it will be red that I see. Er... I might appear to be. It might. Okay, if pushed for the edge, it will be red that I see. Death by cane. Or death by curse. You decide which one is worse. Oh ho 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 ho! Hey, one of you didn't rhyme. You're on. Wait, okay, pain rhymes with cane. Except. Except Holy Shantato didn't say the line. Alright. So let's do this. Proge Project Shantatification. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to be able to read Shantatification without thinking of Bimbofication. Alright. Oh, wow. We've got 30 minutes of buffs that just keep ticking back up to 30 minutes. So I guess they're to last as long as the battlefield is. Never wear off. A little bit alarming, but okay. All right, our trust. Our, look at our trust's HP, dude. Uh, we are gonna be fine. We are gonna be fine. Let's see. What else we sh should we take? Let's bring Aldo along just because we can. It might not be good. Um. It might not be a good trust choice, but, I mean, he is part of the storyline here, so. Man, it makes me happy that our trust got the buffs from the, the tablets, because, uh... Also, listen to this music, man. It's pretty, uh... It's uplifting, I would say. Let's just have a little peek at our stats there. <laughs> it's like we're at item level or some shit. <laughs> That's what our stats are going to look like when we get to level 99 and put gear on. And these buffs here are the bar barrier spells, so we don't, we don't need to cast bar anything. Um, we'll just go with the element of the day. Uh, the Shantatos are fairly... Um, maybe even ridiculously resistant to elemental magic damage, so not really going to help us out too much to, uh, on in there and fight these Shantatos. Try to, anyway. So, we want to start by killing the one in white. As far as I'm aware, she has the more disastrous weapon skill. And we're gonna run, run her back here. That way, if we die, we can get re-raised. Scythe one is caught up to us like crazy. Alright. Let's do this. I guess let's use the virtue stone pouch if so we have those. As far as debuffing them goes, I'm not really sure how much we can debuff them. 
beyond the fact that the one in white absorbs all holy magic. Um, I don't know, and the one in black absorbs all dark magic. So they enrage it, and uh, I don't think they can die while they're enraging, but you can see the liner is actually dropping, the stage is dropping now, because they're like, what is going on in such. And it's doing quite a lot of damage to them, like, they are not messing around here. But with the re-raise we've got, I think we'll be fine. Although I would prefer it if the liner rolls in it and just die on me. Well, after they've raged, they, uh... They won't rage again, so... Supposedly. So if we can just kill this one, that, that, that would be... Ruby. Fitting in for a talentless crew, they tried to bite off more than they could, than it could chew. Oh ho ho ho! It was high time you were made to know that your abilities are purely for show. Oh ho 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 ho! Okay, now now go back to your starting position so I can get up, please. Yeah, so what what'll happen is they'll go back to their starting position. And once they get back there, uh, they're gonna recover. But. We should be able to get up without them aggroing us, and then resummon our trusts, and then fight them again. And at that point, we should be fine. I'm gonna wait just like five more seconds here. Make sure she's like back in. All right, so. I think this time, instead of Aldo, like we just used Aldo and, and, it, and nothing really came of it. Let's use King of Hearts instead. For extra curing and extra stuff. But theoretically, according to these wikis, the, the white one, because we caused her to rage or whatever, she won't rage again. So we should be able to kill her, no problem. And as you can see, we kept all of our super buffs, except for the re-raise. I probably should have brought a re-raise scroll, scroll just in case, but I didn't. And then we lost our food effect, which was making a mistake still. Uh, but I don't have my behemoth sticks. They're in my mock locker, so I've only got this other food to go with. Which will work just fine, and it has some magic evasion on it, so it might even help us survive a little bit better. We will see. This time, instead of pulling them back, we're just gonna engage the, uh, 
the white one right out, right out the gate. I might try casting some D-spell and using my brain a bit. I didn't use my brain at all. Kinda, kinda showed, I guess. But I mean, just sometimes I like to see how far you can go on just raw, raw strength alone. Take us a minute to get all this uh, HP and MP back. Although honestly, as, as you saw last time, I don't think I don't think we're gonna get a chance to spend all of the MP. I brought some elixirs, and this time when we start getting low, if I can, if I don't get paralyzed and all that, can actually use my items, I'll be using these to try to stay alive. I mean, I really did try to stay alive to finish off the white Chantata. I was trying to use Chain Spell to heal myself. But man, they, they really kicked our ass. I didn't think they were going to kick our ass that quite that badly. Of course, when they can cast Thundaga for fucking 1600 damage, it's a little, uh... It's a little bit scary. And of course, if I lose, I'll have to reacquire all the hex tablets off off camera, and you know, open up redoing this. Although honestly, I don't think there's a job that's better for doing it on. So, I mean, I could be wrong. It might be better for me to just bring a raw damage dealer like Samurai or Dark Knight or Warrior uh, to hit them harder, or even Corsair for like. Uh, Magus's role, or whichever one gives magic defense bonus. Okay, I, th I think 2,000 MP is enough. It's good, uh... Case by Matsui P.
All right, take two. And yep, she's back at full HP. Well, that could be worse. Wait, what? Oh, this is not good at all. I am severely confused. Like, wow, like... It's like she's still raging or something. Wow, okay. Well, we lose. Okay. Uh... Man. Like, it makes me not even want to, like, continue to try to fight, because I just, like, lost so handily. But I don't know, I might as well try it out. Yeah, I didn't think so. Also, personally, I think it's crazy how they were just able to kill all my trust, like, in two seconds flat. And now, like, it's like they're not... I mean, it's not like they're not killing me, but... It's taking them a while. I'm making them work for it. I'm at a loss here, like, how were they able to kill my trust so quickly? I'll read up on it, get all the things off screen again. We'll fucking try this again next time. Possibly on a different job, possibly not. I don't know. I'm really irritated though, like that's, like... <laughs> it was like they were still raging, like let's, let's go back through the log and look. That was when he killed all, 
they killed all my trust before, but this time, this time I want to see what exactly they did that caused, you know, trust with over 4,000 HP to just die. Right? Okay, so we've got an Earth Crusher. I did like 600 to everything. Like, I don't even see where, where, Col where Coltada took damage. Like, I see he took like 600 from the... Okay, so... Okay, yeah, it was that Meteor War. Oh, they both casted Meteor. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that's something I have to contend with. Well, whatever. We'll try again next time. And hopefully it'll go better. I, uh... Might switch to Corsair. I might try Beastmaster. I don't know. We'll see what works in the end. What a shit show, though, man. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. And next time... Next time, for sure, we'll finish the Shatanto Ascension, because basically I'll just be collecting the Hex Tablets again and retrying the fight until I get one where I fucking win. Uh, how annoying. <sighs>